Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Tor Thorne in for Brianna McLean. First tonight, a look inside an event that doesn't happen every day in the Keweenaw. For one historic mine church, Sunday service comes once a year. Local 3 reporter Jessica Gosca spoke with worshipers about the Central Mine Methodist Church's story and what keeps them coming back. For one day a year, this 169-year-old building comes alive and people from around the world come to gather in worship and remembrance of a town history. It's a church full of tradition. Um, what I've got in my hand is a tradition. This little box, if you come to Central to the reunion, when it comes time for the offering, the ushers will pass this down. This box was made in the wood shop at Central Mine when Central was working. And the tradition we have to tell people today is when Central was working, they didn't have paper money. So the, the coins would fit in here. This was a very active place. And our goal is to keep that tradition alive. Members of the choir, just like those who come to worship in the same pews where the miners sat over a century ago, gather from all over the country to share on this special day. This was the center of social life in town. The Christmas party was held here. When the school overflowed because there were so many miners, we actually have, you can see in our basement, there's a, where there was a wall for two classrooms down here. The town library, complete with library cards, if you're old enough to remember a library card, is in our basement. And we have the names of people. We have one of the walls in the basement starting about 1900, people began to write on our wall in the basement, religious graffiti, but we have family names from 1900, probably through 1920. And we've put plexiglass over that to preserve that um, so that people that have relatives that were here can, can see the family name. Thanks to volunteers and the generous donations of those who wish to keep history alive, the preservation of this historic site is possible. This lime wash you see here is one example of recent maintenance efforts, and new windows is next on the list. This bell used to be in the bell tower here at the Central Mine Methodist Church, but it was quickly moved to the Methodist Church in Mohawk when a mine there opened. Now, after decades in that mine closing, the bell is finally back where it all began, on the grounds here. There's a sense that we need to hang on to this. If we just bulldoze this, we'll, we've lost who we are. You know, we're, we're Youpers, we're Keweenaw people. Whether you're born here or not, you want to preserve this and keep this, and I think I think when you, if you're here and visitors come by that have never been here before and you talk to them and they, they, you get that wow look on their face, it's still here, maybe that's the payoff. The fact that all of your work as a volunteer is helping someone else recognize how important the stuff that you're working with is not only to you, but to other people. Yeah, maybe that's the, that's the payoff. Reporting from Central Mine Methodist Church in Keweenaw County, this is Jessica Gosca, Local 3 News.